is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And today we continue my complete collection of coloring books with finished pages. And today we are starting cubes number three and four. So let's start right away with three. First of all, though, I did miss a Belva family book. It had fallen on the floor. So this is the Mystery Mosaics Cinema one. And I have to say this was probably my least favorite of the books because I'm not into movies. But it'll still be fun to color these bright pictures. And I've done one in here. I won't know what half of them are because I don't really watch modern movies. So this, I believe, is Mr. and Mrs. Smith, though I haven't seen it. And that's the only one I did. And then uh, on a shelf uh, from last video, I also missed these two books. And these are the Advanced Coloring Color by Number books by Benden. So I have the one with the pineapple on the top. And I've never colored in these. But these are much better than the other ones that I showed you. These are single-sided. And the papers, the papers like, well, it's just a little bit better than children's newspapery print paper that they use in children's coloring books. So I haven't done anything in either of these, but these are done in squares, triangles, hexagons, and circles, I believe. Where's the color palette? Oh, they show you the answers, too. Cool. I didn't know that. Neat. Okay, this has a color palette right across the front. So the other one that I have is called the same thing, but the covers do look different. This is Advanced Coloring Color by Number by Benden. It has a color palette across the front. And, yeah, it shows us the, shows us the finished pages, too. Yeah, I don't think there's circles in here. Yeah, no. They're hexagons, triangles, and squares. Oh, yeah, no, I just saw a circle. <laughs> just as I was closing. Okay, so those three are forgotten from the last shelves. So we ended up with the Carré Mystère. And then we go into my small coloriage Mystère books here. Now the first one is not Disney. It, uh, well, let's just do them one by one. I'll put them in my lap. This one is called Les Ateliers de Calm. Coloriage Mystère et Pixels. So this has a variety of things in it. It has color by mm, words. <laughs> so down here you've got different flower names. And you fill in, find the name and fill in the spot. This is a children's book, de most definitely. Uh, here we have how to say hello in the different languages. Now, when we get a grid like this, we get a pixel like this. And what we're supposed to do is transcribe this onto this and make our own by following the grid. A little different. Well, a lot different. So yeah, those are the two kinds of things we get in here. We have those kind of pixel ones, and then we get the word ones. So I haven't done anything in here. Okay, so now on to the uh, Art Therapy Coloriage Mystère. So this one is just quotes. It's called Sweet Art. And I haven't done any in here, but I'll give you an example of what they are on the back. They're mostly in French, but you can easily uh, go to Google and write down the English version at the bottom of your page. Though you will find every now and then that there is English. So they're really pretty. And then I have another one like that. This one is called um, Sankon. Is that how you said 50? Sankon? Okay, 50 Nouveau Massage Mystère. And this is, no, oh, wait a minute, I think I did one in here. No, I didn't. That's surprising, because I thought I did. So these are the same, they have really nice fancy patterns on the backgrounds with some quotes on them. Okay. 
Okay, and then I have, and these little ones all have 50 in them. So this one is just called 50 Coloriage Mystère. And I am sure I did one in here. <laughs> no, I thought I had. Oh, I didn't. Okay, well these are the types of pictures you're going to get anyways, upside down. Pretty pictures. There's the cover girl. Then I have baby, baby's animal, baby animals, and I have done one in here. Maybe even two. Okay, so yes, I did the first one. So we have a baby seahorse. That one was really hard because I kept coloring and coloring and coloring and I couldn't find, where's the baby? Where's the baby? And then finally this came into view for me. So that's the only one I've done in there. And then this is the one that I've done the most in. This one is Zen. <laughs> Watch me have only done two. That's the most. So we got some leaves. Um, this is when I started really loving them. That's just beautiful. They look much better on the screen or from far away than they do up close. And this one. These are just lovely. These are quite intri intricate to do, these ones. I believe this is the last one I did. Oh no. So these are all kind of like Buddhist related things. That's why it's called Zen. Oh, looks like there's another one too. I really like that one. Yeah, this one was hard with all that blue. I was using fine liners and not coloring very well with them. So there's lots of white spots. So there's that. Now we move right on from, I don't even know where to put these, they won't fit there. Okay, so we move right on from my tiniest books to my largest books. And these are the Color Quest books by Barron's Educational Services. This book measures, just so you know, this book measures Thirteen, fourteen and a half inches by ten and a half inches. So this is a big boy, and I haven't done anything in it. I really, really want to. My problem is, is that I'm going to have to set up on the kitchen table because there's not enough room here in my art room to do these. Um, you've seen these a zillion times. People, people have flipped these, so I'm not going to show you the finished pages in these. So there's three. There's Color Quest. Color Quest Cityscapes and Color Quest Animals. Now they are coming out with in November, I believe, a new book called A Colossal Colossal Color Quest. I don't know if it's going to be this size or if it's going to be the size of the new ones, which I'll just show you right now, or if it's going to be the size of the new ones. But no matter what size it is, it will be a bind up of these three. If you look at the cover, you'll see part of each one of these designs on the cover. So it will be a three book bind up. These are either are out of print or are going out of print. So if you don't have these and you want them, this, this new colossal Color Quest book will be a good idea for you. Because they're nice that they're big, but they're very unwieldy. So the next books I have are Co Color Quest. This is by the same people, but they've made this a, a, a normal coloring book size. And it has the same hexagons, circles, squares, and triangles. And I'll show you the pictures at the back. I just don't like doing the circles. 
and this one is amazing art and a new one is coming out in, in do, 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 October or September I mean, it's called winter something I've got it on pre-order anyway all right so now we have another color quest book but this one is it's still by Barron's, so we can say that it's part of the same series. Uh, but this is called Puzzle Masters, and there's probably a set of books that are Puzzle Masters. This one is color by number, and it has, if you're familiar with the, with the um, with Colortronic books, they're similar to those, except that these are real, like, real things that you're going to have in here, and they're done in nature colors. So where's the, where's the color palette? Not seeing the color palette. Finished pages. Oh, and I did do one. Look at that. I did one. Didn't even know that. Where am I getting the color palette from? Oh, <laughs> I couldn't see it because I had the pages holding up. Oh, no, that's a good idea. See, these are perforated like the other uh, Colortronic ones. And the color palette is on the other page. So if you rip this out, you don't have to look at a color palette. Cool. Learn something new every day. Okay, guys, now in for a big one. We're going to look at my color Questopia books. I do not have all of them by any means, but I do have most of them. So. I'll just open them up if I've done something in them. This is Trains, and this was an older white one that got redone in black. So these are the pages I've done. This book is done in, uh, shall we say, pop art colors. There's my pink and orange train. Red and orange. I don't mind them. I have tattoo. I'm not going to show you anything on these. We all know them. Beach coloring. I haven't colored in any of these. So. Mermaids. Space. Princesses. Stained glass. I've started wor started working in these books one book at a time instead of doing one picture out of each book. So that train one you saw is the one that I'm currently working on. And prior to that, I finished the nightmare horrors and nightmares or whatever it was called. Summer gnomes, chibi girls, incredible cats. Beautiful hummingbirds, lighthouses, I don't think I did. Oh, lighthouses, mandalas, spring scenes, dragon fantasy. Oh, so those are all my dark black background color, my numbers. Now my white ones, I don't like doing the white ones anymore. And when I go back and look at the pictures that I've done in the white ones, I'm not really happy with them. So I am going to be switching these out with black copies. Some of them are already available, I just haven't bought them yet. So Country Farm Scenes. This was my favorite when I first started and it was one, one of their first books. They, they put out like three books to begin with and this was my favorite. So I've done a, done a few from the beginning. They look all right, but I hate that silver line. This scribbling is when I fall asleep coloring. So I did quite a few in here. Let's make sure I didn't skip around. Oh. Amazing owls. Yep, 
started this one too. I think I started these all front to back. So yeah, I hate the black outline that I did on these on that one. This one I was going to try doing a painted border around it, but no. As soon as I did the one side, I went, no, I'm not doing that. And again, we have like pop art in this book. We've got our pink and yellow and orange butterfly. I said butterfly. I mean owl. God. If that kind of butterfly came into my garden, I'd be out of there. I don't think I got around to doing a cow. I love this book, though. I hope they do this one in a black edition as soon as possible. Then this is Halloween Horror. They don't have this one anymore. Well, they do the exact same book, except it's only called Halloween. And I hadn't started this one. That was because I started... Oh, no, that's not true. Well, I guess I am going to have to skip through these looking. So I did this one. This is when I came up with uh, this, this idea of doing them. And part of me is thinking to keep working in these white ones instead of getting switching them out. Because I liked how this worked out. I did the background in pencil, and that's easy enough to not go over the white lines. And then I took the foreground and did it in marker and outlined it in black. And I really like how that looks. I'll show you a few others that I got around to doing that on. Don't think I colored a sloth. Can't remember if this one's out in black yet. I know this one is. And I probably haven't colored in here because unicorns are not exactly my jam. Cactus and Succulents. I recall coloring in this, but when I flipped through it earlier, I couldn't find anything, so it must have been a different... Yeah, so Cactus and Succulents. Llama. I wish they would reprint this one in black, too. I think I only did... No, I know I've colored in here. Don't call me a liar. Oh, I haven't. Could have sworn I had. Okay, creative movie posters. This is one of the ones that I'm not too fond of. Didn't I show you this already in black? What did I say I wasn't fond of? Because it had Mr. and Mrs. Smith in it. I believe it was this one. I think I've got this one twice. Oh well, let me show you what I've done in this one. I'll have to go check. There. So this one, I did the background in pencil and just, you know, didn't go into the white. And the front ground I did, or sorry, the foreground I did in marker. Uh, it looks like it was water, like Sharpies. That, yeah, that's what I used. Sharpies and then drew a black outline around the whole thing. And I like how that comes out. But I do need to check and see if I have that twice because I recall saying it. So New York. I liked this one when it first came in too. First came out. And again, this it uses their pop colors. I don't know where these places are. It doesn't say. That is City Field. Don't think I did any in Fairy Magic. Oh, yeah, I did. So I did the first one in Fairy Magic, and I did it using the way I ended up doing these. And I like it, actually. You know, I'm going to pick one of these books to keep for sure in white and see what happens. thought I colored in this one, but obviously not. Fanciful Fox. Oh, yep, did a few in here. I like these older ones. They're, they're so simple. Those are the ones I did. Dinosaur. I didn't do any in there. 
animals this one I did you know what maybe I did a llama in this book I did a giraffe now see I used blue to go around that it looks atrocious I hate it oh this one I tried doing an all pencil and didn't like it don't like the black uh, this one I liked going around it with green for some reason just because it matched and I liked doing this one too beautiful cities and landmarks that's that church in Russia Stonehenge I often use water soluble markers in these books And that's as far as I got. I think I did one in giraffe. No, two. Yeah. This and this. Oh, three. And finally, beautiful ocean, which I do not think I. Oh, I did. Can't believe it. I did one in it. More than one. There we go. So that is uh, cube number three. So I'm going to go on to cube number four, which will be the second half of this video. And now we're moving on to cube number four. So we're going to be starting off with the Disney books. I don't have a lot. Well, I mean, I have a good enough size, but not quite like the Disney collectors. So I have these square books and the pixelated ones. I have uh, Princess A. Faye. I don't think I've done anything in this. I don't know if I've done anything in any of these except for the one that I'm working on. This one is Grand Classique. No. Pretty sure I just started with one and went from there. Buddies. Sum Sum. I think I actually did something in Sum Sum. I didn't. Hmm. And Animo. So those are the uh, square ones I have. This is the older set. Plus I have the one that I'm working in. And this is Babies. Disney Babies. So I'll show you what I've worked on so far. This was one of my 10 books to finish for 2021. So I even colored in the little <laughs> a little practice thing there. And we'll just go kind of quickly. This one got a lot of sleep scribbling on it. So did this one. Next one, I was having a bad day, and it just felt like scribbling, so we'll just very quickly go over those two. <laughs> and that's where I am up to now. Then I have a couple of the children's coloriage mystère, and I have the trompe l'oeil one, which I don't think of. Oh yeah, I don't like these ones very much. What did I use on there? I'm not sure what I used on there, but it sure feels nice. I think I might have used gel crayon and mineral spirits. 
<laughs> this one was marker. Oh, wow, I've done more in here than I thought. By doing a black background, look, looked nice, but in the end I decided not to keep doing it. I haven't gone any further than that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'll keep doing the black backgrounds. They're nice. They're not. They're kind of nice. Hmm. A lot more done than that than I had or even realized. And then the other children's one I have is Mickey A. Says on me. And I only did the one in here. Hmm. Okay, so now I have some of the coloriage from Stair Disney ones. So I have the Star Wars one. This is the English edition, and the paper is just garbage. So I'd really, really like to replace this with the French edition, but it's out of print. So who knows if I'll ever get my hands on it. And that, and there's my blue Darth Vader. <laughs> I think they're supposed to be blue-grays, but they look like blues to me. So I did that one in alcohol marker since it was just nothing on the back. And the rest in water-based. So, I mean, I'm not a big Star Wars fan, but it's, I still like the, the characters, you know, the way they look and stuff. And then I have Disney Babies. These are Cercle Magic, Magic Circles. And I did these two, I think. Is, oh no, I've done a few more. I've done these two. Definitely did a lot more in here than I thought as well. I haven't looked at this book in ages. So there we go. I'm up to number nine. Then this is the second circle one. Cercle Magique Grand Classique. And I haven't done anything in this one. Next one is my favorite. This is Mickey Donald and Company. And I've only done a couple in here, but I love the pictures in here. Because, see, again, I did the first one in alcohol marker. I love classic Disney so much. Like a, I, I like everything that Walt Disney had a hand in, so that goes up to uh, 101 Dalmatians, because he, he died during the filming of that. Those are the only two I've done. Isn't that a shame? I believe there is a circle book of just Mickey and Friends as well. And of course I have number one. So I do the black outlines last and I use a Posca, a black Posca to do it. I do all the colors and then I fill in the black and that kind of like tidies up all my lines. And it also makes sure that I don't know what it is until later. I don't like knowing what it is beforehand. Boy, I was going great guns with this. Oh, this one got sleep scribbled on. That's so far we go. I always have to do both both pages. It, I don't feel right if only one one if only one is done. Number two. Don't know why I didn't do the first one. Skipped straight to that one. And that's it. Yeah, I don't skip around in these. I started at the beginning, but it's weird that I didn't do that one. And then this one is three, I believe. Yeah, probably have done one in here. Yeah, nothing done in that one. And then number four is where I stopped with these put these books. I figured four is enough. If I ever finish all four of them, I can get some more, but I doubt that will happen. 
Then now we go on to my Creative Haven Color by Number collection. And I don't really have as many of these as you would think I would, but at, I was I was getting each book as it came out, but then I kind of stopped and thought, well, you know, you can't buy every single book that he puts out because you're not going to, you're just going to end up doing one picture in every one, which I kind of think is the situation that I'm at right now. Unless I haven't, yeah, okay. Hmm. Yellowing. Oh, that's bad. It's the first time I've seen this. So yeah, I did that one. Hopefully I'm... Well, I'll definitely be able to cover up the yellow in that. Yeah, I should be able to cover up the yellow. No idea what markers those were. It was a long time ago. Then we have By the Sea. I don't think I did one in, of in here. Now there's a book called, oh yeah, I did. I did the first one. Yay, no yellowing. I think I used uh, Sharpies and Bix on this, plus a little bit of fine liner. I know I haven't done any in this one. It's birds. This, these are all George Tufex's books that I have, anyways. This is one of the older ones. Glorious Gardens. That one. Guys, yeah, I haven't done a lot in these. And the first one. That, that may, no, I was going to say it may have been the first one I ever did, but it's not. City Sights, I don't think I've done any in this one. I really like this one, though. And then Sea Life, this was the first book I got. The first George Tufexis book I got. So I did that one. That one. Okay, I need to stop saying that one. <laughs> this is what else do you say when you show one? Nothing. Whoops. This one? Oh, I did it again. Yeah, I think it goes this way. That one's cool. I like it. I did a lot better with the fine liner too. I'm terrible at coloring with fine liners. I leave all the little white lines. Unless I color with a magnifying glass. This one's kind of sloppy, but it still looks nice. I was using water-based markers at that time, like using flares and stuff like that. So there's that. And then the last book for this for this video is the Colortronic Animals book by Lauren Farnsworth. I do not believe that I have done any in this one. I do have the other one though that's just Colortronic and I finished it. I completed it. So you'll see it when we do my completed books. So that's the end of today's video and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or would like to see a flip of any of those books, go check out my playlist for f flips and uh, if you don't find it there, just give me a, send me a message and I'll put one up for you. Uh, so thank you for watching. Bye!